Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Francis de Sales, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He was born to a noble family in the Kingdom of Savoy on the year 1567, and from an early age was known for his gentleness and intelligence. Francis was sent to study law at Padua and expected to become a lawyer like his father. However, Francis, after receiving his degree, announced that he wished to enter the priesthood. His father, opposed at first, eventually consented to his son's wishes. Francis was eventually ordained to the priesthood and at the age of 35 became Bishop of Geneva. St. Francis de Sales, to this day, is well known for his writings that exuded his kindness and gentleness of heart, which fittingly gave him the moniker, Gentleman Saint. So through the intercession of St. Francis de Sales, let our faith be expressed in kind and gentle ways, especially during times of stress and hardship. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and saintly day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at maryknollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.